Good morning, YouTubers. Reloading Bench Facty once again, and winter is here. Woo! It's Colty Colty in the garage this morning. Uh, we are yet again doing another unboxing slash whatever of uh, machining related stuff for the lathe. And uh, I'm going to call this uh, a uh, Christmas, early Christmas gift from a family member uh they're like oh what's on your christmas list i'm like not a whole lot but maybe this one completely maybe completely is not the best word not entirely necessary especially at this stage of my reloading <laughs> my reloading my machining career oh look we are made in our favorite place again um so this this is something that uh, I've seen other YouTubers upgrade over time. And uh, I decided uh, to ask for this for Christmas for two reasons. One, uh, I saw it in the future for uh, other shapes and uh, lathing, machining, machining. I don't even know if lathing is a word. Machining other um other shapes other than bar round bar wow this is uh this is some heavy duty tape from uh from chine so maybe it probably would help if i was actually on the center of the box wherever that center is right now or i should stop talking and and do what i'm trying to do so i uh all right, clearly I'm making way too many uh, upgrades and addition videos because my camera just barked at me and uh, told me that the the memory card was full, so I had to do a quick delete. Wow, this is some serious tape. Oh, it's banding. That is why. Okay. That makes sense. Let me reach around and... Wow, these are, I think these scissors are as dull or duller than my, okay, that to make a sense. Yeah, that is some serious, wow, that's some uber, uber, there we go, now uh, we've broken into it, wow, I got to give, uh, a plus on packing for this. Holy moly. Holy schmoly. Uh, back to where I was. Uh, this upgrade, completely unnecessary at this point in my uh, machining career. My, my, machine, my machining journey. But uh, it seemed to be a, uh, a popular upgrade. And I will say that as I was... And you can see what this is. This is a four-jaw chuck. And as I was uh, doing some parting, um, and let me grab my parting tool. Uh, I read about this, I saw it, and you know, obviously as I'm learning, I experienced it, uh, which is one of the reasons this looks the way it does. Uh, as my, or something round, as my material was turning, The, and I was relatively low speed, cutting oil, the, and it was clamped in, I thought sufficiently, uh, the cutter went under just because of the force and movement as I was slowly progressing the cutter forward, parting tool forward, uh, it went under and jammed up the, uh, the piece of material I was cutting. So one of my thoughts was, would I get a better grip of my uh, material with a four-jaw versus a three-jaw chuck? And uh, I don't know. We'll find out. So I, uh, I thought I would... Uh, oh, that's really smooth, too. Smooth, flat. I don't know how machine flat that is. So I thought, you know, th these are not expensive. None of this stuff 
honestly is expensive. Uh, but when you purchase it all in a short period of time, the costs add up. Um, one of the things I noticed was a lot of the four-jaw uh, uh, four chucks uh, need a plate, a mounting plate, because they have four screws. And I found this particular uh, four-inch chuck online. And oh, that's just going to be interesting. And it has, hopefully, three screws, three mounting. Yes, three. So I'm hoping that is extremely compatible with my, uh, oh, it's got a little oiler hole too, oiler, whatever that thing's called. I'm hoping that is compatible with uh, my three as opposed to four mounting screws. But second, hopefully that is uh, compatible with my three holes. Uh, uh, I wanted to take a peek at it, again, open it early just to make sure uh, that it is, and uh, I mean, it looks, I would think that uh, all three holers are hopefully the same, but uh, uh, as I was looking at, uh, at options, and this looks like it's quite oily, this is becoming a longy longy video, but that was for a goody goody reason. Because I had a yummy, yummy breakfast. Oh, delicious breakfast. Honey Bunch made scrambled eggs, or more, it was more of a non burpy, burpy cheese omelet with lovely bacon and dripping with butter, sourdough uh, bread. Oh, yummy, delish. All right, hopefully, I don't drop this and damage it, which would be a reason it would go back. So, I watched other videos. As I, as I make my own, I, I watch others. Uh, it's a great learning way, learning method. And uh, I saw somebody who had uh, purchased a chuck, and this, this video was old. And I'm going to say that the folks overseas, where is it? These folks uh, have gotten better over time because... What he unboxed and what he displayed was all dinged up and damaged. And yeah, he, he resurfaced it and he dealt with it and he got some money back. But it would be nice if it showed up, you know, working and everything in its place and all goody, good, good and such. Are these numbered? Yes, these are numbered. Uh, as are these. So what I will do is... Uh, Put a little numbering scheme behind uh, I'll find which is which um, and what I one of the things uh, I did decide on a conscious decision was that this would be uh, a self-centering four jaw chuck again for my my needs and w will I get a independent four jaw chuck a four inch four jaw chuck at some point uh, yes, I probably will, uh, but that's further down. Maybe that'll be next Christmas. And we are at the four inch, so we are good. But uh, one of the things I did notice that uh, on all of the four inch, four jaw, non independent, non self centering uh, chucks. I don't know if I like the uh, the whole springy spring thing. That's the don't f up kind of thing and it also makes it a little more annoying to uh yeah that's we're gonna get rid of that that's gonna be the first thing that goes if i don't break a break a nail yeah that's uh, so I, I like the finish of this that's really nice as compared to This was really rough, and I took the uh, wire brush to it to give it a finished finish because it was annoyingly um, uncomfortable to even handle, just rough. Uh, but I like the more finished version. 
Oh, that can be removed. I wonder, I could knurl that. I'll wait till my knurling skills get a little better. That, uh, that hole is bigger than my three jaw chuck. Maybe I'll insert a picture right about here of the three hole chuck closed. But, uh, I will, uh, mark for whatever reasons, you know, which one is one, two, three, and four. I don't know if that really matters, but I'll do it anyway. And, uh, I will put it on, I'll test it, and uh, then probably put it back in the box. Uh, I'll probably take it apart as well, just to see what things uh, look like inside. Because I've seen videos of uh, the inside not looking as finished as the outside. But, uh, you know, from visual appearances, I would say uh, impressed. Again, compared to what I've seen in older videos. I, I will also attribute that to the growth and uh, popularity of the uh, mini lathe market with uh, with what's going on and the need to improve in order to uh, pump sales. So uh, that was a cool Christmas gift and I will add this uh, somewhere to the lathe, the never ending, apparently never ending uh, lathe upgrades and additions videos. I think I just published uh, the first one and I've already got uh, a series of about three that will probably be broken down into uh, maybe four or so. But um, uh, I chose this specific one, if I can't remember if I said or not, over the independent four-jaw chuck. Because all of the four-jaw chucks, the four-inch four-jaw chucks, the independent four-jaw four-inch chucks, all seem to have three studs for mounting which means you would need an adapter plate. Uh, Little Machine Shop sells an adapter plate for like 25 bucks, so it's not a big deal, it's not a showstopper. Uh, again, I've seen other videos where people made their adapter plates, and I'd be terrified of that because of the exacting requirements of something, you know, five pounds-ish spinning at that rate and wobbling because my, uh, my holes aren't uh, exact, so... Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm glad this came with that, but uh, I could not find a, uh, a three-stud, four-jaw, independent, four-inch chuck. Uh, I did find a, a Vivor independent. The picture showed four studs, and the description said three. So, don't know what to believe, um, and not going to worry about it. So, uh, this is this is fine for now. See if it gives me that added support. Um, and, and maybe it was, uh, you know, a wasted purchase. Um, but again, as I'm doing trial and error learning here, uh, that's part of the process. So, uh, you know, I look forward to that. But I'm going to see if it fits um, and then probably put it back in the box and put it under the tree for Christmas. So happy holidays. More to come. Later. All right, we're off tripod because I want to get a close-up. Uh, <laughs> this is pitted. Uh, I'll show a picture of... Uh, I mean, I've already wiped this off. Um, I might... Uh, try and resurface that just a little bit. Because that looks terrible. And that's going to continue rusting. Uh, <laughs> that would be my first ding on uh, the beaver lathe. A little bit of uh, rust in there as well, which I will oil and try to wipe again. I mean, you can see all the rust that that was just from the surface here. Uh, a lot of rust. Back in a bit. All right, so I had second thoughts about cutting given my, my skill set. So, uh, very fine sandpaper all the way up to 1500. It's better. It's not perfect. Uh, it's a heck of a lot better. And I don't feel bad about that now. So, uh, on to the next step. All right, as you can see, we are in, installed, tightened. I did not take this apart yet, uh, one because, for one, because I didn't want to spend the time taking it apart cleaning it uh, if it didn't fit <laughs> or work. 
so as you can see it's working and now that i've shut the four jaws and i'm looking at the other one yeah this does have a slightly larger uh, opening i don't know if there's anything i'd be turning or using a four jaw chuck that would require that uh, if not go back to the three jaw chuck uh, but uh, i do like uh, again it feels smoother no gr it's not that the other one was grinding it this just feels a little bit smoother uh, i noticed that The original chuck wasn't unnecessarily uh, rusty, but it didn't have a back plate either, like this one does. So um, stuff could get in there, uh, in theory. I don't know how, but it could. All right, so again, you can see the versatility of the lamp. Let me uh, shut that. I, I do like this, the finish on this, uh, this particular chuck a little better. A chuck for the chuck. All right, so we are all chucked down. Let's go ahead and uh, start. We'll jump to 150 and then back down to 126, just like the other one did. Okay, call me a liar, we're at 132, and I will start to spin up. Looks good. So I will call this uh, good for now, and uh, later on I'll take out my... Uh, my whatever it's called and I'll measure the run out uh, to see if I'm at I think I was at uh, as bad as one and a half thousandth um, on the other chuck so I'll do the same thing with this uh, then I'll take this off and oil it clean it and oil it um, and I did oil the inside of the uh, spindle while I had this off so that uh, hopefully that uh, that bit of rusting glad i caught that uh again not probably a big deal but uh you know a deal all right that's it for now later